Governor Babajide Sonwolu says the arena, which was launched in Lagos, will stand as a catalyst to every event in Nigeria and Africa. The governor dropped this hint at the unveiling of Africa's first purpose-built entertainment arena. Plus TV's Paul George was there to bring us all the exciting moments. Over the years, Nigerian music has placed the country in the world map by breaking through barriers and entertaining the world. The outlook of the industry is about to change with another innovation. This project is part of a larger effort to develop Nigeria's infrastructure and create jobs. Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwolu, is here for the unveiling. The governor, who identifies with the project, is excited as he says it will fill a major gap in Nigeria's entertainment industry. He promises government support for the project. It's not just the arena, it's the Lagos arena. Africa is ready. We're ready not just by mouth, we're ready in terms of the commerce and the business model that comes with it to create an environment, you know, and a structure that will truly, truly, truly really work for all of us. I want to assure you, Chairman, that Lagos State will not just talk the talk, will give you all the support that you require in terms of monitoring, in terms of ensuring that everything that you wish for, we will make sure that it happen timely, without any bureaucracy, understanding that we need to commission this place in December 2025. For the organizers, it has been a long time coming, citing the lack of an entertainment arena in Nigeria. Despite the country's growing youth population and thriving entertainment industry, the chairman and initiator of the project, Tayo Amushan, decided to embark on this journey to bring the arena to life. He speaks about his doggedness, which has brought this project this far. One of the investors praised the concept. Anything you have in Nigeria, there will be challenges. There must, there's challenges. This is us, but we're resilient people. You know, everybody, you are resilient. Every Nigerian will overcome. But thanks to the Lagos State government, the government of Lagos State, to the NSIA, to, you know, the federal, everybody. But it's a natural, it's our people, it's us. We're resilient. But maybe that's how we always have to fight. But it's okay. You know, and when we fight, we'll achieve. Challenges are many. Of course, there's the conceptualization, there's the development, there is the funding, there is the utilization, there is the marketing, there is the actual execution, so the design work, all of those things comprise um, the challenges of any typical transformative piece of infrastructure. But I'm proud to say a combination of all the stakeholders, the state government, the Oba, um, uh, his royal father, the financing partners in particular, the NSIA, the institution that I represent, all together have come to actually surmount these very difficult challenges. This innovation will create 1,500 direct and indirect jobs, attract investment and exciting opportunities for local businesses. Meanwhile, popular Nigerian music entertainer David Adeleke, widely known as Davido, also shares an insight into the impact of the arena in bringing world-class performances to fans at home. Respect that we're getting around right now. We let every December people come in for shows. I mean, let you feel the same way that ah, if they're still following their own too, if they come to Lagos, it's the same exact feeling. Not just giving that same experience. People don't care how we came on before. This will no doubt provide a platform for Nigerian and international artists to perform for large audiences as well as boost the country's music, sports, and entertainment industries. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.